Uh, do 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 do. Uh, again. Oh yeah, and this I guess this is a good time to tell a story. So the thing is, the the way the way I got into the Pink Panther theme was that I actually downloaded a program called MIDI Jam, and this software had you know with it came a bunch of MIDI files. One of them was the P Panther, so I listened to it, and uh, yeah, that was it. And so that's how I got into it. But anyway, this MIDI file, sometimes when I play it in piano from above, and I play it from like an odd point of time, like I mess around with the mess around with it, um, the pitch, because it's kind of like variable in pitch, it has like, you know, the blue notes, I guess you call them. Um, and they kind of can really, really mess up in pitch. Maybe I can show it in a YouTube video, future of YouTube video, what I mean here. It's easier to show than to describe. Oh, Cole. Man, I can't wait to get back into Minecraft. There are a lot of things I would like to do. Like, I did, right? You know, I got back into Minecraft, you know, in 2017. And so that's why I did so much stuff and I had a lot of fun. And then I guess I kind of just got burnt out, I guess. But now it's like. Now I want to do so much. And it's not like I haven't played Minecraft since then. I have. I've created plenty of single player worlds since. But man, uh, I have so many Minecraft memories to look back upon. Like, okay, so I've had... I've had a few recent single player worlds. Like, which I created, you know, in early 2017. I believe there was one I created in early 2017. And that was when I'd just gotten into Green Day, pretty much. Or I'd I was really into Green Day back then. I, I remember I was listening to like Nimrod whilst um, whilst pl was playing, and I was just a really weird person. But yeah, and I remember at that point I was like building all these, trying to build all these redstone things, and I was listening to the Baited podcast whilst doing that. And yeah, I, oh man, and I built this other like this town in in this mesa biome, which was not too far away. But I created a nether path between them. And. And. Yeah, one time when I was walking, doing something in the nether, I was listening to the M Adorable uh, beta podcast episode. Just so much stuff. Oh man, I'm, I'm at Y12. And someone else has been here. So I don't even remember which side I put the um, ladder on. I believe it was this one, actually. See, that would have been the moment when I took a screenshot, but then I remembered, oh, I'm recording this. Oh, whoa!
Oh no! Uh, but I had a feeling, but I thought, well, it would make more sense for me to put the ladders on this side. I, you know, when I was putting these ladders, didn't I think in my head that, yeah, I'm gonna put them on this side, because if I go walk down there, the bucket is, uh, water, the water pond is gonna be there, right? So I should put them on this side, but for some reason I put them on this side. That's really stupid. Oh, unless, unless this is the right side, I don't know. It feels like this was the right side. No, it wasn't. Oh, man, I got confused. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I placed it on the wrong side. That is embarrassing, though I think it, it's not too bad. Hey, man, you put this... <laughs> That is hilarious that he built he did this thing right in the middle of the road. That is hilarious. Yeah, I got a horse. Just like I wanted. Just like I wanted. And I could tame this donkey too. Now that I have a saddle. I could have both of them. Both of them neighbor neighbors. I could put some them in some fence. Yep. Oh, and he even, he even repaired it for me. Oh. Uh. Yep, this is awesome. Well, here comes the big question. Okay, what am I gonna do? Like, do horses run off? I don't think they do, so I'm just gonna let this horse free. Uh, I don't think I need to put it in a fence. I'm just gonna have you around. You can do whatever. I don't know, I don't. Maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see.